Good morning, friends, and welcome to this week's vlog. It is Saturday morning, and little Grayson is with me today. You want to say hi, Grayson? Hi. Tell them what we're doing. We're going to the Easter Bunny. We're going to have breakfast with the Easter Bunny, huh? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. He just asked me if the Easter Bunny had sharp teeth and if he was nice. <laughs> He's nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we are, um, they have kids eat free with the Easter Bunny and it's $5 for adults. They get pancakes, juice, eggs, bacon, all that stuff. And um, all the proceeds go towards, I think it was Petersburg and Colonial Heights Animal Rescue or SPCA or something like that. So we are on our way. We'll see you in a little bit. You waving? was really quick we just finished up uh, we were the one of the first Grayson was the first one to see the Easter Bunny and promptly when we got in there he asked me if the Easter Bunny had sharp teeth does the Easter Bunny have sharp teeth no, no. what does he eat he eats lettuce and carrots and did you give him the hang loose sign yeah. show 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 everybody the hang loose sign yeah dude and he got a, because it was S for the SPCA, got a coloring book and crayons, and he got an egg on the way out. And what's in your egg? You want to show everybody? Oh, googly eyes. Say googly woogly. Googly eyes. So now we're going to Target. We got to go see if Papa's still home and show him what you got, okay? Were you singing a song? Yeah. What were you singing? Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle? Yeah. Like twinkle, twinkle, little star? Yeah. So that goes twinkle, twinkle, little star. Next. What says the next? No. <laughs> How do you sing your, um, t uh, what's that song you sing, your Rex or whatever that show is you like? That T-Rex song, how do you sing that song? Twinkle, 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 twinkle. No, how do you sing the T-Rex song? Dinosaur, dinosaur. What else? Twinkle, twinkle. Well, how do you sing the T-Rex song? How does that go? Do you know how the T-Rex song goes? Yeah. How? Mighty Dino Roar. Mighty what? Mighty Dino Roar. Mighty Dino Roar? Yeah. Oh. All right. Say bye, people. Bye, people. You want to show everybody your treasure box? Yeah. Yeah? You got a shark. A shovel. That's your little key, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you got a shark shovel though. You're gonna do that that in the um, put it in the bowl. That's kinetic sand. And we got some. These are a dollar. The little peeps chalk. We're gonna open these up and play. Whoa! I see some treasure. You want to show everybody your treasure? Get all your treasure so we can see it. You want to show them some of your treasure in there? Let me see. I'll put it in your hands and show everybody your treasure. Are you putting it in there? <laughs> and then I want to see it. 
All right, bring it up here so I can see. Right there. Oh. Oh. I almost took. Those are funny finger puppets. Water. Put those. <laughs> Let's take this one out. We don't need this one for a kid. <laughs> All right. You got funny fingers. What's that one doing? Is that one doing a hang loose? Yeah. <laughs> put it in your finger and go hang loose, dude. No, I, I can put the. Huh? I can't put the whole no, it's just for one finger. It's a finger puppet. It goes on one little finger. There you go. You can play with your sand with those. Do you want to play with your sand? Yeah, dig it up. All right. Leg out, leg in. Do it again. Leg out, leg in. Pull it back. You got to pull them back when you go back. They go in when you go back. Out when you go front, in when you go back. Out, now in. <laughs> you having fun on the big boy swing? Yeah. No more, no more baby back. swing. We just took the baby swing down. Huh. Do we take the baby swing down? Yeah. Don't touch the dog poo poo. Because okay. that's gross. How dare the doggy poop in your swing area? That's rude. I was started cleaning up all the pine cones. They're so freaking many and they hurt your hands. I need to get gloves. What? Get out of my way. You get out of my way. <laughs> you going around me? No. Nope. Did you put gas and oil in your car? I'll show you. You got gas in there? Yeah. Okay, good job. Now put oil in it. Okay. Where's the oil go? Right here. Oh, well don't really put that in there though. Why? It is a type of an oil, but don't really put it in there. Oh, I'm going to pretend. You're just going to pretend? Yeah. Okay. Good. That's a bug light. Oh, here comes Chop Chop. Here comes Chop Chop. Hey, buddy. Hi, old man. Oh, you're so close. There you go. Chopper likes being outside. Hey, that's Hmm? You, yeah, you could pretend that's oil. You happy? Are you happy to be outside yeah, in the sunshine? Switch on. Okay, switch on your oil. Okay. Put it in your car. Fill it up. Okay. I'm gonna turn the oil. You what? I better not. Doggy's smelling ya. He likes you. Oh, okay. Well, he likes you, though. He could be your fire dog. He is my fire dog. Yeah, he could be your fireman dog. He is my fire dog. Oh, he is? Yeah. Okay, he helps you fight fires? Yeah. Okay, go fight a fire. Okay. Whatever. Hey, come on, doggy. <laughs> you guys are doing such a good job. You did it. What? I see. Put it on the fire. I better have to get the hammer for this one. Hey, I have to get the hammer for this one. You be careful with that hammer. Not breaking? Yeah. Okay, well, Papa can break it when he comes out, okay? Don't though. Get a sliver in your finger. That hurts if you get wood in your finger. It's, hurt. it's hard to get out. Why? 
because it hurts getting it out. Why don't you just... Okay, that's enough. Why don't you get the other piece out, too? That way Papa can get all that wood in the fire, okay? Look. Look. I see you. Don't that, spray that. that. Some oil. Is that fire hot? Yeah. Yeah? Eat your food, and then you can finish playing, okay? Right, dude? Let's eat up. Oh, Is it delicious? So good? Is it hot? A little bit? Okay. How's the dinosaurs? Did you try one yet? Uh-uh. Oh well, then you don't know if they're good yet. You gotta try, you gotta ch taste your dinosaur. You're gonna be bite the head off. Oh, they're too hot. Oh, you gotta let them cool off. Okay. Well, if they're too hot, you can also eat your oranges. Okay. That's all right. There's lots more on each one. Even that one you bit. Look at all that. Look. Let me show you. There's Grayson pretending to sleep. Oh, I mean really sleeping. But your eyes are open, Gray. Thought you were sleeping. Thought you were sleeping. You better close your eyes. You better close them eyes. There you go. What's this thing in your mouth? A uh, sword. You don't put sword. Swords don't go in your mouth. Do they? Yes. No, they don't. Do you like a toothpick? You pretend it's a toothpick. Who's watching us? Tower. It's a tower. tower. Can you tower. say shish kebab? Shish kebab. Look at me. Tower. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. No, no. I said tower shish kebab. Tower shish kebab? Yeah. Say shish kebab. Shish kebab tower. Okay. Are you going to eat that shish kebab tower? No, later. Huh, later? Yeah. All right. Good morning, friends. It is Sunday morning. Happy St. Patty's Day to you guys. Um, Robert and I are getting ready to go out for breakfast, and then we are going to meet, I don't know if I talked about her yet, but um, our newest granddaughter. Her name is Avery Elizabeth, and I think she was 7 pounds, 15 ounces. And, yeah, so we're going to meet her for the first time today. I think we're going out to breakfast, and we're going to, uh, we have to go take care of the little cats, so I'll give you guys an update on Mama Cat and the baby cats uh, when we're over there. I'm having a really bad problem with my ankle. It's getting worse. I just looked it up. It's I forgot what it's called, but it's like something with the tendon. It's um the tendon that runs up the inner portion of my leg, um, the inner part of my ankle. And if it, it's apparently it goes in stages of like one, two, three, and four. And if it's not treated, it will result in surgery. Um, and they said often that happens like as you are middle age too, because if you've had a trauma in your ankle and I had a major trauma multiple times, but this ankle specifically, I had a bad, bad baseball ankle. Um, also, um, yeah, so that's not good. That's not good fun stuff. Uh, he spent two nights here because mom and dad went out to Shamrock the Block and some other stuff and they got in late and then they came they ubered here which i was grateful they did that because they were close and i said well just come here you know i've got the spare rooms and everything uh, it was a long night though um i did not sleep um i think drew finally went to bed around two and i came downstairs at three because i couldn't sleep so i literally have been up all night i'm exhausted we'll see how i do today um and i didn't sleep the night before um, either. I, I can't help it. Grayson's so cute, so cute when he sleeps and I just, I get nervous. I think sometimes when he's over and I just need to take care of him all the time. And I just, I wasn't eating well while he was here. I was feeding him. And I realized I had two chicken nuggets, a half a cup of coffee yesterday and a half a pancake. <laughs> so I'm, I, I didn't eat enough and I'm depleted today. So we're going out to breakfast today. Um, Oh, he's such a sweet little pumpkin, though. I said to him, because he, he always goes, hey, hey, hey. I said, what's my name? And he goes, T.T. And and then I said, will you keep calling me hey? He goes, hey's for horses. And then later he said something about a crowbar. I was like, how do you even know what a crowbar is? 
He goes, it's for the bad guys. <laughs> oh, and he told the bunny he wanted a shooter gun to shoot the bad, or to shoot the monsters. He said for the monsters. I think Grayson sees things at night like I do. I think he sees spirits. Um, I had a, a psychic tell me one of my grandsons did see them at my house, and I think he does. Um, because he's, my son's found him at his house too, like going, no, in a corner, like pointing at something very, very definitely looking at something and saying, no, also my kitty, um, my gypsy kitty definitely sees them. Cause I, I see her like, she like follows them, you know, more so than some of the other cats. I think gypsy was brought into my life for a reason. I, do you ever feel like with a certain animal, there's some sort of a different type of a connection? That's what I have with Gypsy. It's really weird and wonderful all at the same time. I wonder where she is right now. She's probably sleeping because she was... She's tired because Grayson kept picking her up. He loves her because she's such a sweet cat. She just... And she's slow. <clears throat> she's slow so she doesn't get away. And he... He like comes carrying her and her feet are dangling. You know, cats don't like their feet to dangle. They want... they oh, well, you, When you hold a cat, you have to make sure all their paws are supported, that they have... Um, but they, they can have ground on their paws. They do not like to have their paws loose. That makes them very nervous. Um, and she's such a good cat. She puts up with him. Um, and even Vaca, the feral cat, lets Grayson pet her. And that is amazing because Vaca was outside feral for at least three or four years. I'm not sure. We're not sure exactly how many. So I just showered because my hair is all like soft and stuff today because I, I just, I thought maybe that would make me feel better because I just, I'm tired and Grayson helped me plant some more, a couple of my, um, those little pretty pansies outside. He showed his mom and dad. He was pretty excited. I did wear a green look today because it's St. Patty's Day. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, so we'll take, uh, I'll give you guys an update on the kittens and then, and mama, and then I'll, and, and I'll show you the big boy, the feral cat, the, the boy kitty. And then I will show you guys baby Avery. Um, she looked big in the pictures, but I think, you know, the pictures always make these babies look big and then you get them and they're itty bitty. You know I mean? She's not even eight pounds yet. And usually they lose a little bit of weight when they come home too, because mom's milk hasn't come in and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so we're really excited. It should be a fun day. I did just take some meloxicam from my ankle. Um, I am a little nervous after reading up about what's wrong with it. Okay, sorry, Kenzie called, but yeah, I'm a little nervous about my foot because I think I might end up needing to have surgery, which is something I've thought, like, for a while that could be an issue. So, um, and I really don't have shoes that are comfortable to wear, like, at all. Like, and it's, it's like, I make a step, and it's just, like, usually I'll, I'll have pain in my ankle and it'll, like, go away, but it's just not going away. And I think, I think I'm so much more active now than I had been, which is why it's not going away, because before when I wasn't on my medicine for ADHD, so many like daily tasks would just overwhelm me that I just wasn't getting a lot done. And I would have a, I would sit around a lot more. Now I'm up moving constantly doing stuff. I mean, I'm just walking all the time and you're supposed to like rest it. But see, when I damaged my ankle, they told me that the tendons that I had, a, a lot of them snapped. They don't grow back. They like snapped in half and we heard them snap. I mean, everybody thought I broke my ankle. And they didn't, but the doc the doctor said I it would have been better if I had. And I think some of the other tendons that were remaining were probably damaged, and now I think they're stretched out or they're just giving with old age because they've been overworked because I didn't have enough tendons holding my ankle together. My ankle bones move like in my one ankle, and whatever tendons were there, there were just that's all I had, and now I think they're not good anymore. So. Mm. Anyway, okay, friends, I'm going to go. I'm waiting for him to come down. He should be here any minute. I don't want to get up and get shoes on right now. Just wait till he comes down, and then I'll get shoes on. Also, look at this cheek. Cute. This cheek is Natasha Denona. The, I think it was the Love Cheek Palette, or, uh, I think, but I just used the cream blush, and then I used like the, a little bit of the peachy blush and the highlight, and I really... i got to fix this one because I was touching my skin. Um, I really like how it came out. Really pretty. All right, I'll see you later. This one got an eye problem. Let's see that eye. Come here, sweetness. Let me see that eye. Oh, yeah, you got something wrong with that eye. We got to get your eye treated. How are your eyes looking? Yours are clear. Look at her spots. Okay. Can you see yourselves? 
Do you want to see yourselves? What is that? I think they're around four weeks old now. Still a bit unsteady on their feet. But learning. So cute. Hey friends, where are you going? It's dirty over there. Come here. Tiniest little meows ever. Remind me of Rocky. The cat my mom took. You want to get frisky, you're ready to get out here. He's got neat markings too. He's kind of like, look at his little tummy, little, little tiger baby. Mm -hmm. Daddy's coming. You go get some food for mama and you guys can get some cuddles, okay? You're not ready for big food yet. You walk right in the bowl. <laughs> you guys want some toys? You got little balls and toys that might like. <laughs> They're starting to play. She gonna get you. You little wobbly thing. The other baby's sleeping with mama, nursing on mama and sleeping. The little black and white one. We'll get him out in a minute. She was pawing at her brother. What you being so noisy about? What? Why are you being so noisy? She's being a noisy baby. You want to sit with me? How's that? You just want to climb and get your legs going. How about you, little one? Here. Your little brother's with you.
two babies. Toothpick, like super sharp little claws at this age. Where are you going? You want to go down here? Okay, let go of me. I don't want to pull her his claw. There you go. Classic. What did baby doing in there? Mm -hmm. You're a good mama. Yeah. You okay? What's going on? Why are you shaking? See that? He was just shaking. You. Well, now your eyes open. Maybe you just see a gunk in your eye. Come here, little one. Here, go back, Mama. Here. Here. There you go. Here. Get up over there. Oh. Yes, or do something. Yeah, his little eye. It's not his eye. Want to say hello and make your debut, Tiny? Look at this is a little runt. Just a little baby runt. You're such a baby. <laughs> Are the babies? Are the babies? Mama's eating. You guys gotta cuddle up, okay? There's the big old tomcat, and he does have a date to get fixed, which is good. We got him a little bit of a bigger, we got him in a big dog kennel right now. So, anyway, there he is. Hey guys, um, I'm editing the weekly vlog and wanted to come on here after you guys saw the kittens and the cat because... The tomcat, which was feral, which was all beat up that we brought in, um, hasn't been looking really good. He's been, he had been, um, when we went over the other day, he had puked like clear and there was worms in it, like round worms in it that were dead that he was vomiting up. And we, so we started, gave him this first dose of Panicure or whatever, the dewormer, but like, for a week, he has been, when we have come in there, he's been laying instead of like where the soft cushions are, flat on the cage floor, like right butt up next to the litter box and just not looking well. And I didn't, we thought maybe it was just he was depressed or whatever. Well, we had an option to get him um, neutered sooner. So Robert took him in this morning to a feral clinic that was in Hopewell, like a, that was neutering. And if he tested positive for feline leukemia, they do put them down if they're feral because they're not adoptable. And he was the only cat that was positive for feline leukemia. So he was put down, um, which is a concern. I mean, it's just so sad. At least he was put down like he was already asleep for the procedure. So it would have been peaceful for him, but the blood test came back positive for feline leukemia. That's only the second cat in that alley out of all the years we've done this that has had feline leukemia. Uh, there was one a couple of years ago, uh, which actually could have been from the same lineage because uh, she was like a white cat, like he was, but and she had like it's a little bit of Siamese in her and she had blue eyes and she was beautiful, but she had it and they had to put her down as well. And then this guy, you could tell he was sick. Um, he just, what, he hadn't been looking good and he wasn't acting right. I thought maybe it was just the worms because all outdoor cats have worms, but, and he's been out there wild for a long time. He was not a kitten. And so we thought, well, maybe he just felt bad because the worms were building up so we treated him. But no, he was sicker than we realized. And, um... No, Triple, lay down. This dog's driving me nuts, look. He's been barking in my face. What do you want? 
What do you want? You want pets, you little mess? Is that what you want? Oh, you're gonna... <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. No, you wanna go outside? All right. Anyway, so a little bit of sad news um, there. Nitro, come on, go outside. He doesn't want to go outside. Um, so I need to let Lynn from Smitty's know because she's. Um, we were going to take him April 4th through her feral clinic to get fixed. But since he was going downhill and we had an opportunity, we thought, well, we'll take him in now because that way we could put him back outside once he was fixed up because we thought it was depression. And we have another cat, another male cat, another feral male cat that Robert was able to catch that we would use for that clinic, which we're still, we, we're still going to do that. Um, but now I'm concerned about, he, you know, he'd been outside a while and the cats have been obviously interacting with him, not in a good way, because most of them are fixed and most of the females are fixed, but they were beating him up and stuff. And feline leukemia for cats is very contagious. Um, and I'll, like, I don't know if any of those other cats have it at this point. You the cats can live a certain amount of time. Like they can live with feline leukemia for a while, depending what kind they have. Um, I know people that have indoor cats that have it and they can live a decent life with it. Um, I'll bite a shorter life, but they can live with it and still be happy and, and kind of controlled a little bit, but he was outside. He was not going to be adoptable. And, um, that's just their policy. If they have feline leukemia and they're feral, they put them down. So um, it was just kind of sad. Um, but anyway, um, we do have another male cat that he was able to catch that we're going to use for the next clinic. Um, I'm just worried about how many other cats out there are feline leukemia positive just because he had been out there so long. So hopefully no more, but uh, we'll see. So anyway, that's what I would need to update you guys on. Unfortunately, um, thank you for all your support and praying for that big tomcat. At least he went peacefully in his sleep. Um, so, you know, he didn't have to be awake for, for it. So that's one blessing. Um, but now on to um, a little bit more happier news. You're going to see me and Robert meeting our sixth grandchild, little Miss Avery, coming right up. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, honey. You love, after a nap. you love your sister? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what she said? Yeah. <laughs> your sister? Yeah. yeah. You do. You need your hair combed. You look, look like a crazy Aww. wild animal. <laughs> you can tell she would just woke up. Yeah. <laughs> what you talking about? You got gloves on? Mm -hmm. As... She's trying to open her eyes. Tony, she sleeps the hardest around this time. Look at those little squints. Her eyes are big blue. Well, every baby's eyes are blue when they're blue. Well, she's going to keep them. I won't know until... Girl. Like six months to a year. Mm -hmm. Like they tickled her, she put her little finger right up to it. If she does come out with blue eyes, I'd be like, Jordan, listen, mm -hmm. our genetics are just superior. Yeah. <laughs>
just brought these beads in here in her mouth. I got a picture of her. She was like running away. Look, 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 she's running away from her little friend. She doesn't want them taking her beads. Was who's St. Patty's Day beads? What you doing, girlfriend? Are those yours? You're not sharing them with your friends? Are you my wild Mardi Gras girl? Is that what's going on here? Are you hoarding them? They're just for you. They're not for, they do match your beautiful eyes. Yes, they do. Can you see her paw move like she thought I was going to take it? <clears throat> Am I not allowed to have them? It's a good girl. She is so funny. She carries all kinds of things in her mouth all over the house. All right, you keep your paw on it. It's all for you. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday morning. Your girl is tired today and I have a headache today. I knew I had a headache coming. I just knew it. I took some ibuprofen this morning. It hasn't really helped and I had some coffee, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog because I want to get this up for you. Um, and I've got some new things happening in my life that hopefully I'll be able to share with you guys really soon. Also, two of the boxes went out of um, the goodies and stuff from the 5000K giveaway, but one didn't because I haven't heard back from that individual. Um, I'm going to put her screen name up here. If any of you know her, please let her know that she won. I just, I'd love to have her have the opportunity to get this box. However, if I don't hear probably in like another week or so, I'm going to have to pick a different winner. Um, so, um, yeah, anyway, um, and I'll try to tag her in this video too. Um, so anyway, I, cause I, I commented on her comment on the video it's and it's up everywhere and um on all of the platforms so and there's a mosquito in here anyway all right so i hope you guys have a wonderful day i will see you all in the next video i do have a stitch fix coming up a daily look coming up and i believe a fashion box so stay tuned friends Bye.